Hello, my name is Sammy Wakefield, an occupational therapist and the inventor of HAMI. Welcome to this instructional video on using HAMI to teach about the influence of hamstring muscles on seating and positioning. As I described in the introduction to HAMI video, the pelvis, its position and movements, ripple up the spine and have profound effects on human body function. Very often, problems with head, trunk, or lower body positioning can be traced to inadequate understanding of the influence of multi-joint muscles on pelvic posture. We must understand these dynamics in order to appreciate their impact on sitting and lying posture. This video focuses on the hamstring muscle group. It is imperative to understand its influence in order to achieve the most functional postures and prevent needless body shape distortions. People with mobility impairments spend a lot of time in the seated position out of necessity. As a result, hamstrings can lose flexibility with shortening and loss of range of motion. Now let's use HAMI to demonstrate what happens with shortened hamstrings. The hamstring muscles go over the back of the hip joint and the back of the knee joint. To do this demonstration, I begin with HAMI's seat block horizontal in the lower position. Seat HAMI in a neutral pelvic posture with no rotation or sideways tilt and the cord locks released to the ends of the cords. The right leg is set up to show only the hamstrings and the left to show only the hip flexors. So as I demonstrate one leg, I will let the other leg follow along into the same position. The spine should have a gentle low and upper back curve and head upright with eyes looking straight ahead with the eye line parallel to the floor. When I tighten hamstrings on the right leg with the cord lock, we can see that moving the knee into extension also causes the hip to straighten out. This causes the pelvis to tilt backwards and slide forward on the seat surface. The spine and head follow so that hammy is looking upward. Gravity triggers a reaction pulling the head, neck, and spine forward into a rounded position this is called head riding and is a powerful protective reaction to gravity. The neck then bends back to allow the eyes to look ahead instead of down. Hammy can now see where he's going, but there are consequences to this posture. They are poor breathing and swallowing, more choking risk, sliding forward on the seat puts pressure on the pointy tailbone, which is risky for the skin. These effects on life and death functions are a high price to pay for short hamstrings. In supine lying, shortened hamstrings prevent the hips and the knees from straightening together. This leads to the legs falling toward one side or the other, windswept, or into abduction or adduction. The legs are heavy, more than 35% of body weight for adults, and they will seek support until they find it. This stresses the hip and knee joints, increases dislocation risk, and contributes to pelvic obliquity and rotation. And these distortions will impact seating. Now let's look at how to address the problems that Hammy has shown us. In sitting, we facilitate posture for active participation and protection of vital functions like breathing, swallowing, and digestion. It is best practice to accommodate short hamstrings together with focusing on well-aligned upper body posture and function. HAMI can demonstrate accommodation techniques to use when a person has shortened hamstrings as follows. Allow sufficient knee flexion to foster relaxation on the shortened muscles. 
Place foot supports to allow comfortable positioning of the lower extremities without stretching knees into extension that would affect pelvic posture. The seat length and front shape of the cushion must not impinge on the hamstring tendon. Once the hamstrings are no longer in the stretched position, the pelvis and spine may be able to return to a more aligned position. Support the pelvis with a backrest and a correctly angled pelvic belt. Support the trunk with a back suitable for the level of function. What can we do to improve the range of motion of shortened hamstrings? Trying to stretch these muscles in sitting does not work well. In supine lying, hip and knee joint risks and pelvic distortions can be neutralized by harnessing gravitational forces pressing down. This allows gravity to improve joint range and body alignment at a time when there are no activity demands. One third of each day or more is spent in bed sleeping. Muscle tone naturally relaxes in most people during sleep, plus growth hormone is primarily secreted at night, adding to the impact of a well-aligned sleeping position during growth spurts. Hammy can demonstrate this well. Try these techniques. Place a soft support beneath the legs and on both sides to accommodate knee and hip flexion, improving midline orientation. The support beneath the legs should be compressible to allow gentle straightening, but be firm laterally. Level the pelvis as much as possible, correcting any rotation or obliquity that may be present. Place lateral supports at the hips and trunks beneath a fitted sheet, promoting symmetry and midline orientation while distributing pressure throughout a large portion of the body. Support the head and the feet, floating the heels to prevent too much pressure. I used Hammy to demonstrate how shortened hamstrings influence the pelvis and therefore the posture and function of the entire body. I have not discussed in-depth seating and positioning specific to the trunk, head, and upper extremities. These can only be properly addressed once pelvic posture issues are analyzed and understood. Hammy also demonstrated nighttime therapeutic position specifically limited to shortened hamstrings affecting pelvic posture. This does not provide in-depth instruction about 24-hour postural care and management. Specific techniques for upper body spine protection and restoration, temperature regulation, sleep hygiene, and other aspects are necessary in order to provide safe and effective interventions at night. See resources at www.posture24-7.org for further information on some of these topics.